disappointed in in us. I, you know, obviously we did something wrong in preparing for this game um, because we just weren't ready, and um, we weren't ready physically or mentally. Uh, you know, we went through pretty much the same routines that we normally go through. But uh, but I gotta give them a lot of credit. You know, certainly they came with a with some fight. And then when a team says that you you don't respect them, they're gonna play and, and they're gonna play hard. And that's what that's what happened tonight. Just we just didn't respond, you know, properly. Uh, and uh, we just got out coached, out played in every facet of the game, uh, which is which was hard to fan them because we had a lot, a lot at stake, and um, a lot to play for. So, but you know, we still have to get ready for, you know, for East Carolina on Sunday. Any questions, uh, Coach? Do you think tonight could have been a little bit of a case? You you see a team that only has eight wins, one in fifteen in conference, and you handle them pretty well down in, in Tampa. Do you think this could have been a case of of them possibly taking this team lightly tonight? <laughs> I don't know how because we're not that good, but I, you know, I can sense that we, you know, I, I said something beginning the show, and I said something just the thing you have to guard against is prosperity. Guys thinking they just need to arrive, you know, they're, you know, they're just what you said. They looking at their record, and you can't really, you can't really get them to understand, uh, and that's why you have to appeal to their, their pride of getting better every day. That's why you can't use any other type of, because, and we just, again, it was sort of a, uh, you know, you know, kind of pushing and prodding, uh, even yesterday, in practice, just just trying to get them to understand, folks, we got to go harder and we got to practice harder, and uh, and so they could get mentally ready and tougher. I just thought they out toughed us. I mean, it's a team that. We got out rebounded by 11. Uh, just we only had five deflections at halftime, so we weren't doing anything. We weren't just didn't have much energy. Uh, again, they they started off making shots early, and and we had no answer after that. And I thought we thought I think our guys thought they were going to outscore them. You know, we didn't have you know down there. You know, we they came back on us down there too. And Jeremiah uh, Jeremiah had just a great game down there to really keep them at bay. Uh, but tonight we had no real way of, you know, I thought Jiggets was outstanding and penetrating and getting by us and finding people open. Um, you know, they, they beat us up inside. Um, it's just, just in every, every, every facet of the game. We finally took care of the ball in the second half, but we couldn't, by that time, the momentum, they had all of the momentum and we just couldn't respond. Tubby, how much of a, setback is this for what you would accomplished yeah. for over four like you know do you do you feel like it was a one game blip or did you see some things that you know really trouble you moving forward well anytime you lose everything is troublesome every little thing is magnified and um, yeah I'm, I'm really I'm troubled because you know I think what happens is you know you're trying to get them to get to get better and improve, but they said, coaches, look what we, you know, they're thinking, what, look what we did, and that was their attitude. I, but I, I hope, I hope they, this got their attention, and they'll come tomorrow um, with a renewed um, vision and spirit. You know, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough because they just, um, I don't know, you know, just. I'll be honest with you, I'm at a loss. I don't think I've, this is really, uh, really, because uh, you know, we went to this, every, everything was pretty, you know, when you, you're creatures of habit, when you do something, you're winning, you're successful, you try to do the same thing the same way. And that's what we try to do is duplicate what we, how we were able to win those games before, but it, it just didn't, we just didn't seem to have the energy. Um, and, and they just were better than we were tonight. They just, in every facet of the game. So I I think we'll bounce back. I believe we will. And I think it's just a, uh, a game that 
like you said, they, I think they read the, you know, they're looking at the tea leaves, thinking, hey, we can just show up tonight and win. Coach, what was your message to the team at halftime, and then what was your message to the team after the game? Well, halftime, I, I really just asked, you know, what, you know, what are the things we need to change, fellas? What do we have to do to get, to get going? Where, where are we? You know, are we did somebody do something to somebody? We all just ask questions. To be honest with you, why are they beating? All, we, you know, we talked about getting over the screen every all day. We, that's what we worked on. And now, you know, I don't think we fought over one screen. We just went under each screen, and sure enough, they banged a couple threes under. We didn't close out quickly. So at halftime, that's pretty much what I talked about was, okay, fellas, we only have five deflections. We're not really being aggressive. We're not being, we're not pressuring the ball. Um, it's, it's nothing you can do. It's all about the fundamentals. And that's what the whole, that was the whole theme uh, to start the game execution of the fundamentals. And the team that executes the fundamentals better is going, better going to win. The team that plays the hardest is going to win. And, and we did none of those. We didn't execute fundamentals properly, both at the defensive and the offensive end. I don't know how many layups we missed. We go eight for 18 from the free throw line. And we've been shooting the ball extremely well, 9% from, 15% <laughs> from threes. Just amazing. You know, and shoot around a day I thought was was okay. You know, he seemed to have a good, uh, good spirit about them. Uh, but you know, and we came out the second half, and and a good team, well, well coached team like they are, uh, they're gonna they're gonna make you pay, and they did. They were very poised, they were very patient. They found people open inside, and we didn't rotate over, and we gave up easy baskets. Uh, so. Those are the things we talk about at halftime. Coach, this Sunday, Jamario Rivers will be playing his last game in the FedEx Forum. What has he meant to this team over the years? Well, you know, Jamario plays hard. Every time he goes on the court, you know you're going to get a great effort out of him. He's not the most physical guy, but he plays with a, with a physical mentality. By that, I mean he's just thin and, and um, you know, he gets the floor and gets hit more than anybody I've ever coached, but he's, he stays in there and I thought he gave it his all tonight. You know, he played hard. And he had some good, did some good things for us. Um, and he was encouraging guys to come on and play harder. You know, we, we just didn't, just didn't happen. And you know, Keevan, I thought Keevan again. He's, you know, you know, he looks like he had a pretty good game with the numbers there. But I'm always concerned at the other end, which he did have. He did get a steal and get some blocks here. So we just. But it was the, everybody else that didn't really respond like they should. Um, so, but Jamario, I'm really proud of. I really have enjoyed coaching him. Uh, again, he's a he's as tough a kid as I've, I've been around. Toby, when you suffer a loss like this, when, and you have a quick turnaround like you do for Sunday, is this something where do you feel like the embarrassment of losing like this is enough of a motivation, or do you feel like it's something where you have to, you know, really Kick them in the butt, so to speak. No, I don't know. I don't know that you can kick them in the butt. We, you know, we. It's just, uh, you know, you can't kick them when they're down. So we just got to try to build them back up. Um, you know, let's get back to what we do best. Let's 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 visualize what we did well in that during the winning streak. That's that's the way we're going to try to approach it.